hey what's up welcome to another video on building front end with Vue.js so uh, let me give you a quick recap uh, we created our uh, API in Lumen and we started building uh, this uh, project management application called Weblo uh, which will be uh, similar to this trailer.com so so far we have created uh, this login system uh, we can go to home page and see all of our boards and we can go to individual boards and we can uh, see our boards in our navigation and we we implemented this logout and login system so basically uh, we created uh, our layout like uh, displaying everything uh, we need like we displayed boards lists and cards inside lists so currently we have no cards but we'll be adding soon so before proceeding with this video uh, i want to uh, show you some fixes i have done behind the scenes so while logging in uh, there was slight error so let me show you what i uh, did to fix that so uh, let's switch to sublime and let's first go to login.view and uh, here so I added this key up dot enter and uh, this section will call log it in so uh, previously we are just calling it in when someone clicks on uh, login it will send the request and log it in now we can just hit enter and after typing this credential we can hit enter to submit form that's uh, one modification and other one uh, after the uh, after successful login so after this uh, response or uh, inside this response callback uh, we are uh, getting the token and we are assigning the token uh, right from here to window object so that it will be globally available so previously we have inside I think main.js it was yeah yeah we are we are getting it here uh, so the reason why we did here is as soon as user login uh, we will send the uh, response or we'll uh, notify this uh, main component app dot view about our token so that's why I assigned it to window right from here also we are getting uh, user data and then we are setting up local storage and also we are setting we are uh, we are defining new variable in our local storage uh, called user and i am uh, json stringify it so uh, the response uh, available from here is object and then we um, we make a json string out of it and stored it in local storage so yeah, we cannot store this uh, store object there but uh, we can convert that object into a string and then we can store user inf uh, information there so the reason uh, why we did here is uh, previously we have code in our app dot view which uh, yeah this one this fetch user data so we are fetching user data from our main component so which is uh, which is just extra load uh, we don't want to make another uh, request to just fetch user data so we can fetch that while uh, logging login in so while we log in we will fetch the uh, user data and then we will notify the main component of uh, we'll pass this user data to our main component from this event so i just added one this variable okay so all this code available on github you can uh, take reference there if you are following with this series okay so this is logging part so after we logged in we got token we got user information and we set that token to local storage so that it will be available everywhere so yeah that is it and in our main component app dot view which will be the which is the parent of all components what we did here is so this was previous code it is okay so uh, at login event what we are doing is we are making login in uh, login logged in true variable so that we can show a register link and links accordingly also one more thing uh, we are assigning the user 
this data which we uh, which will be available from login uh, event from while login in so that that makes us remove this fast user data and yeah previously there was this variable so we are setting this logged in true without checking for any token and other stuff so I move that code inside here so if we got token then in that case we'll set this logged in equals to true so those are some uh, minor changes so that will fix our uh, log uh, login issue okay so by the way uh, uh, the issue was when you log in uh, if you enter wrong password it will still log you in and so link it will not show you uh, boards but it will just log you in so that was the error you can test that out okay so other minor change I made is in this navigation so before it was uh, so you, in order to access link you need to uh, click uh, like here because this is link tag uh, you cannot uh, access that link when you click here because this is not link so uh, what I made is uh, just this I make that whole thing clickable so let me show you what I did in router link I wrapped whole thing inside this field style tag so that it will make uh, the whole tile link so that you can click anywhere in this space so yeah that was the change now let's move on so now uh, you can go to home page and uh, individual cards page but uh, if you uh, try to access these from your navigation yeah you cannot get that but if you go to home page and then if you go to anyone yeah it is loading so now after that you want to try another board yeah it is not loading yeah, it is changing it here link but it is not updating this component so uh, the reason why it is doing is uh, this view router uh, just reuses uh, existing components so when we uh, hit this link we are uh, we will we are here at this link at this location but when we click uh, other link like yeah so it is only change in parameter so co component that is loaded is still same yeah so it is not listening to these parameter changes so uh, the reason is uh, it is the same instance so it uses the component so uh, since it, it uses uh, the component and it do not destroys and recreate that um, that means we do not have access to lifecycle hooks like created at mounted so if you go to single view single board view yeah when you click there uh, like in link you are not calling this created it so this function is responsible for loading loading all new data and displaying that there so it will not listen for uh, these link okay so in order to fix that uh, what you can do here is uh, you can either watch for this variable or in new edition of view 2.2 you can use before route update so that's why I used uh, so in single board dot view which is this component uh, I've created this method before route update so these are the default parameters to from where this route is coming and from where it is going like for example uh, currently we are in this this route and if I want to go to this route yeah it goes from 8 to 9 so from 8 to 9 so next will be the function which will load the next route so in this uh, in this uh, method what we are doing is exactly the same thing so we, we initialize all data so yeah you can uh, create one method and put this there initialize method so or initialize board whatever you want to call that and you need to call next function yeah this is necessary 
so with that now if you go to home page and try to access from this so cards for board board id one okay and let's go to yeah now it is listening for our uh, this route changes yeah so that is it okay uh, now let's uh, move on let's let's so uh, here uh, boards name rather than this thing so let's go to single board dot view and here we'll display um, uh, we'll display this okay to display uh, the board name here we need to add uh, one more method so currently we have uh, access to all boards here and I'll create one new board okay and then here while getting lists so if board ID matches with this board ID we are uh, returning this dot list equals to boards list so here we can do is this dot board equals to board yeah this board and here what we can do is just simply remove that and replace it with board dot name yeah so there we go let's go to YouTube yeah wind chill that's updating okay okay next up what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, create list and create these individual cards okay that is link here actually yeah, that is card so let's fix that so that is defined inside board card component so add card okay that is good okay first we'll start by uh, adding new list item so when user clicks on this we should so form and then user will type name and then just like here so if someone click on add list yeah we can go do like that okay so for that let's go to single board and we have that link here okay so let's create something like this so what I will do is uh, also uh, form when someone clicks on this add list and then uh, after submitting that form I will create a list like that so let's go to single board dot view and here you have add list that link and I will create a, a new text field so you can create simple uh, input field but I'm using beautify I'll use uh, v text field okay so I'll use that and let's make it okay so le uh, let's give a v model so it will be the uh, list name and so that will be the uh, name uh, which user types uh, type in so if we save and go to browser yeah, currently we are not seeing anything also uh, let's add label label will be car sorry list name okay so you can see that and uh, now what we'll do is uh, we'll just display it only in some case so by default we'll show this so if user clicks on this we'll show 
this text field so what we can do to do that is v if okay sorry about that v if so if edit mode is true we'll show this field so now we need to define this edit mode method here edit mode will be false by default so we cannot see that by default and when someone clicks on this we'll make this edit more or uh, edit mode uh, true so uh, let's at click will make edit mode equals to true so let's check that out click yeah edit mode but we are still showing that so in order to hide that uh, we can uh, add v if here as well so you can add it here so v if v if not edit mode so if edit mode is false we'll show this okay so by default edit mode is false if someone clicks on that yeah we can uh, we made that okay so now what we'll do is we ask uh, for example user types in new list and when user hits enter we'll submit this uh, we'll send the post request to server and create new field uh, as well as make that edit mode false so that we can see uh, still that link add list link okay like that so let's do that so here is our uh, text field uh, here will when user hits key up dot enter so okay so when user hits enter we'll call a function we'll co call it uh, store list so it will store the list in our database so okay so let's create that method down here list and for this testing purpose I will just alert submitting okay so clear whatever here okay also we need to add list name uh, that is here so we are using this variable but we are not defining here so by default that list name will be empty and when user types in it will got some value and we'll use this uh, value to submit uh, we'll submit with this value to create our list all right so let's that's it fix that error okay it looks like we have typo here so it is model sorry about that okay so yeah Okay, no errors let's type in something and hit enter yeah so that is triggering that method all right so uh, in that method stored list uh, what we'll do is first we'll disable the edit mode or we can disable it afterwards yeah let's disable for now so this dot edit mode calls to false and then we'll yeah we'll send uh is x request to create new entry there 
okay so uh, we can do xs uh, xs post and send uh, request to endpoint so before doing that uh, let me quickly uh, refactor some some of things so that we we are not repeating so as you can see we are using this uh, url everywhere and i think in last video we refactored it into like something like base url so if yeah i think well, let's go to login view we should see there yeah i think we are using this string everywhere okay uh, we don't need to do that uh, we have uh, some configuration options in our excel so if you go to main.js uh, here you are using uh, excels so uh, one default yeah so there are some default uh, you can set default base URL you can set some headers and you also do not need to pass token on every request so we, we, we just did like this so base API URL in last video so yeah we don't need to do that yeah, let's keep that for now and here what we'll do is window dot defaults is that right false dot base url okay so base url will be this cut it down let's go to view and paste it there okay so this will be our uh, default uh, base url so that we don't need to specify it every time everywhere also what we want to do is we want to pass this parameter uh, like yeah we are passing this api uh, token parameter in every request yeah we don't need to do that in every request so we can configure that in our uh, main.js as well so window default i think the option should be parameters or params I think okay that is uh, parameters yeah something like that params okay so use that name params and it will accept now we can define object like so uh, api token and that will be token or uh, window dot token yeah let's define it in the top Yeah, I think we don't uh, now we don't need this base URL base API URL all right so window dot axios let's correct that okay so let's check if we break uh, anything no we didn't yeah that's good news okay so from now on out we don't need to pass api token on every request and yeah so in order to check that we can just remove this part slash boards and yeah okay you may not want to send api token on every request but i think where uh, we require on most of the case so it is still works yeah so that is um much cleaner right so let's make everything even okay so after that uh, let's continue so uh, we need to send uh, requests 
to create our list new list so axios dot post so the endpoint is yeah we need to refer to our API yeah so uh, in order to create new list we need to send request to boards and then board ID uh, on which we are creating list and then like this so I'll just copy that and paste it here all right so this will be board ID yeah so that will be the endpoint and we need to pass the data so what is the data list name okay so so in our API I think we are listening for and yeah, let's go to list controller store yeah so name and we need to pass it exact same thing here name and the name will be this dot list name all right and after the successful response response will do something yeah for now just see log console log this response what we what response we got let's see so let's call that go to browser uh, we got some error okay we missed something syntax error in our single board view I think that's old error. Let's refresh. Okay, yeah. Okay, so no error so far. Yeah. So let's add another list. So list new enter. Okay, board ID is not defined. Sorry about that. It is this dot board ID. I always keep missing that. Okay. Let's add new list. New list for web tab. Enter. Alright, yeah, we got response yeah success response okay also I think uh, in from our API we need to return that resource so yeah so that we can grab that and we can display it here so currently uh, since we created that uh, it is not showing it dynamically here I think after page refresh we can see that yeah so new, new list for web dev so to make it uh, as we hit it uh, we, we want to make it uh, at that moment so in order to do that uh, yeah we need to s uh, make slight change in our API and let's go to list controller so after successful creation of list item uh, sorry list we got to return that list new list let's see what we got there I think that returns boolean or what 
okay let's check that out so list comes to new list okay so let's create another one web 2 okay we got data we got yeah that's right we got list okay so now in our app uh, sorry single board dot view after uh, yeah, yeah after creating board so we got that list here inside yeah data dot list dot name so So uh yeah let's create so new list equals to uh, response dot data dot list so that will be new list and we want to push that new list into our uh this what is that so this variable lists let's do that so this dot lists dot push new list so we want to push that new list to that okay let's check that out clear this console web 3 there we go web 3 yeah that's working fine yeah so it created so one issue you can see if we click again it uh, it is already uh, populating the old old data uh, that we entered here so that is due to the reusability of this view uh, view just uses components and input fields so it is using that yeah so let's go to that text field so yeah, in this field we can yeah, one option you can do is you can clear that list name to empty after that successful response uh, or something like that yeah after that you can clear that one option is that so after storing list and pushing that you can make this dot list name calls to empty that should work mm -hmm. yeah now now that's clearing up so here uh, you can see there is no space for that yeah one one option there is we can change some layout either we can add here scroll bar like this or we can just move that into new row so let's go to that single board view dot view and here v flex v layout we can use wrap option yeah so that will wrap everything down so and not or you can use tab tips so it created tab tips and if you click yeah that's no longer